Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you stopping by. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And uh, today's upload is going to be involving some Oxbeam LED headlights. I will tell you why I ordered Oxbeam. I'll tell you the style I ordered and then we'll go ahead and install them. We're going to go over to Eric's shop right now because it's a little cold out. So we came downstairs in the basement to do this. Um, and also I have a little video for you guys. So stay tuned, enjoy the video and I'll see you in a little bit. Giveaway. Now I know I said I was gonna go ahead and hang on to those headlights. I know I said I was gonna either sell them or return them. Well, I was talking to a good friend of mine. We came up with the idea to give them away. I was trying to figure out how to do that, how to go about it. And the only way I can figure how to do it right now is you're gonna have to subscribe to my channel. You're gonna have to follow me on Instagram and that exact video is gonna be on my Instagram. Like that video and you're entered to win. That's it. Now we wanna to get to a minimum of 50 subscribers. Once we hit that minimum of 50 subscribers, we're gonna go ahead and do a random name draw and that person's gonna win a set of headlights. You're gonna take home the headlight housing and you're gonna take home the running light turn signal housing. That's what you're gonna get. Exactly what's in that video is what you're gonna get. So like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and let's open these LED Oxbeam headlights and see what we got. All right, Oxbeam. The reason why I went with them is they really seemed like a good middle of the road company. Now, I was looking into Diode Dynamics, you know, a retrofit source. Um, I was even Googling, just straight Googling, looking for some cheap ones. I'm about $90 invested for high beams and low beams. You really can't beat it for just testing them out. I haven't heard much bad about Oxbeam, so please let me know in the comments if you've had good experience with Oxbeam, if you have bad experience with Ox Oxbeam. You know, whether that's their LED light bars, their pods, their rigid rock crawling lights, or as simply as just a turn signal light or a running light. So please go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I'd, I'd be really interested, interested to see that. The second reason why I went with them is not only because, you know, they're not really budget friendly, but they're not really, you know, baking, breaking the bank is the style. Now I haven't seen this style in a lot of other companies. Maybe I didn't do a good enough research. I don't know, but they're pretty much like a factory style bulb that you would get. And that really is what draw my attention to it. And I'll bring you in closer to take a look at them here in a second. But I'm so far, I'm really impressed with them. The other concern I had was when I was ordering these on their website is they looked plastic and they're, they're not plastic at all. They're, they're metal, quite frankly, and in a lot better quality and a better shape than I anticipated. So let me bring you in closer so I can do a little quick, brief description as to why I exactly went with this style. All right, so obviously when I bring it in close to you guys, you can see it is exactly like what you would get from factory, OEM style. LED. Now, that is exactly what drawed me to these, is the fact that there isn't that big housing below back here where that fan goes. You know, you have to trim out typically. This is going to be no trimming. It's exactly like what you would order if you ordered a regular bulb. And quite frankly, another positive for me was the fact that it was just a straight plug and play. Um, it does not have a resistor on it. I'm not a fan of resistors. If you don't wire resistors up right, people can burn vehicles with, down with them. They get extremely hot. Um, and as long as you do that LED relay upgrade, you don't have to worry about the resistors anyway. So I would highly suggest you do that relay upgrade if you want to run any LEDs exactly. You know, I think it's a $40, $50 upgrade. And then you can get something like this to where you don't have to worry about resistors. You don't have to worry about hyper flash. And see how these realistically perform. So we're gonna head on over to Eric's right now. He's gonna let me borrow that nice warm shop of his. It's kind of cold here in Wisconsin right now. 
um, and we'll get them installed. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, go follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I post post on that daily. I also post my products when I get them in the mail before I do a video and install them. So go ahead and get yourself entered to win that headlight giveaway and let's go get these installed. So we're back here at Eric's shop. He's gonna let us borrow it once again. Gonna get these LEDs installed and take a look at what they look like. All right, so to remove the headlights, there's gonna be a pin here and it's gonna slide on out. Now, if you have not seen my video that I made of installing these headlights, go ahead and take a look at it. I'll leave a link in the description below. Your high beams are gonna go ahead and be a 9,005. Your regular running low beams are going to be a 9006. Now that's going to be based off of your, your year truck, the brand of truck. Not everybody has this style truck, I understand that. So make sure you take a look at that before you go ahead and install your new headlights. So again, pop this out, put it somewhere, you're not going to lose it. Pop the headlight out. You'll have two bulbs, you'll have your high beam and you'll have your low beam. Go ahead and twist your high beam out. Now, to get the bulb out, there's just this basically a simple connector. You gotta pull it down a little bit, give it a little wiggle, and then pull back on this tab here simultaneously. And it'll pop right out. To install these specific new ones, straight connector, extremely simple. Put it together, hear the click. Get them in there, a nice turn, and that's your high beams. Now it's gonna be the same exact for your lows. Twist out, same exact style. Pops out. Click it back in. Push it in because there is a, a seal on there and give it a nice turn. Now to get it back on, simple, just reverse the process. Slide the pin back in. Click the pin down, and you're all set. Now we're gonna go ahead, go over to the other side and finish that up real quick. simple process to take out your headlights put the new ones in from the housing to even the bulb the connector is a great connector I will show you now a comparison video of driving in the morning roughly about 5 a.m. in the morning here out by my house of the HIDs with the tinted headlights and now the LEDs with the tinted headlights so stay tuned and I'll see you in a little bit Drastic difference. Obviously, you can tell in the video, it's great quality. I'm very pleased with what I got so far from Oxbeam. We'll see how long they last. I'll revisit this 
probably in February, a couple weeks from now. Um, but go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like this video, go follow me on Instagram, like the post for the headlights, get yourself entered to win those headlights. Again, 50 subscribers, once we hit that mark, we're going ahead and give those away to you guys. So stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and dive in on Wednesday. We're gonna dive into a little fuel leak issue I have and I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna install to bypass that. And I really do think it's something everybody with a lift pump should have. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and have a great day.